Hi everyone, we are here for another tutorial video. In this video, I will explain how to design slabs with slab patch panels. Slab design with patch panels is a special feature came with the ProtoStructure Suite 2024. With this feature, you can use a base reinforcement in the entire floor and calculate additional support bars at column regions. For example, as seen in this figure, we have inserted patch panels in the column regions, and the software calculated the necessary additional reinforcement in these zones. Now let's see how we can achieve this step by step. Here we have a model that we completed all the analysis and design processes. First, let's check the analysis of our raft foundation. We perform finite element foundation analysis for raft foundations. After making your selections for the analysis, you can run it by clicking this button. The analysis is completed, so let's check the results on analytical model. Here we see that the foundation is divided into finite element shells, and the springs have been inserted at the nodes. At this stage, in order to design the reinforcement, slab strips should be inserted, which can be done either before or after the analysis. I will do it after checking the foundation contours. Hence, now I turn off the displacements, switch to the plan view, turn off the loads and turn on the contours. On the right hand side, we have the load combinations and envelopes which we can display on the analytical model. Once you make selections here, the contours on the model get updated instantly. For the foundation design I checked the envelope max contours. These conditions here show the impacts where the wood armor effects are introduced. For the foundation design, I select the ASD1 in the X direction as it gives the critical condition. Now let's switch to the plan view for inserting the slab strips. For the design of base reinforcement, finite element fixed band strip is required. If the FE fixed band strip contains any slab patch panels in its tributary area, it will ignore the values inside the patch region and calculate the top and bottom base reinforcement using the maximum values collected outside the patch panel boundaries. Let's insert finite element fixed band strips. First, by utilizing the visual interrogation window, I turn on the finite element contours As you can see here, additional reinforcement is needed at the shear wall and column nodes. At this stage, you can insert the band strips and patch panels in any order you'd like. It doesn't matter which one you insert first. We need to pay attention to the finite element fixed band strips should contain the patch panels completely or partially. Here in this video, I will demonstrate the process for the members located along the axis C. I will insert the patch panel for column S16 first. I click on the column and right click. Here I select the slab patch panel command. Also, you can select this command from the menu right here. Drop layout settings are crucial for punching checks, and the patch layout settings are for the additional reinforcement. I adjust these settings now. Here in this figure, you can see the column and the patch zone surrounded by the dashed line. These values are to manage the size of the patch zone, and with this button, you can manage the placement of the column in this patch panel. After you insert the values and make your selection for the placement, you can click OK and the patch panel gets inserted instantly. Don't worry, you don't need to follow the same steps for all the columns one by one. Let me show you how to insert patch panels in batch mode. Now I select this column and while holding the control button, I select the other columns that I want to insert patch panels. Then I select the slab patch panel command in the upper menu. As you can see, I inserted patch panels to all these columns at once. 
Another important note about this feature is that the patch panels get adapted automatically at the edges. Now, I will insert the finite element fixed band strips. For this purpose, I go to the modeling tab and select the slab strip command. Here on this window, I should specify the direction of the strips and select the FE strip as type and the fixed band option. Here we have two options to check. The first one is integral strip. When you check this option, then the results will be obtained by utilizing the integral average of the values at the points along the strip, and this results in a more economical design. The second option enables the steel bars along the strip region to get designed and updated. Now we can insert the slab strips. I click and select the initial point of my strip, and holding the control button, I select the end point of the strip. The width of the strip should consist of the patch panels, so I click on this button and select the area where it will contain the patch panels, and I say, Update. As you can see, the patch panels are in the width of the strip now. Let's analyze and design our slab now. I go to the Design tab and select Slab Analysis and Design Command. Then on this window, I click Slab Strip Design in Batch Mode. The reinforcement design here is done automatically. Here we see that the base reinforcement for this region is designed and additional reinforcement is inserted into the patch panels. If you want, you can easily manage the reinforcement. For example, I select this panel, and in the right-click menu, I open the patch panel settings. Here, I have the detailed information about the patch region reinforcement. Now I can change the rebar diameter, spacing, and other features. As you make changes, the other fields get updated instantly. Once I am done, I click OK, and here is the updated reinforcement in the patch region. As you saw, here I defined the patch zones first, then I inserted the slab strips. Now let's do it in the reverse order. First, I delete the slab strip, then I select the patch panels holding Control key. and in the patch panel settings, I uncheck the patch layout option. I click OK and the patch panels are gone. Now we are ready to insert the slab strip. In the modeling tab, I select the slab strip command. I select finite element fixed band options and I insert the slab strip as I've shown earlier. Again, I adjust the width of the strip so that it contains the patch regions completely. By using the right click menu, I delete the inserted reinforcement, and I say, Update Steel Bars. Here we have our base reinforcement. Now we can define the patch regions. I select all the columns in this region by holding the control key. Then, I check the patch layout option and specify the necessary settings. Then I say, update steel bars. As you can see, the additional reinforcement is defined in addition to the base reinforcement. Now, let's move on with the design of flat slabs. I want to remind you that the analysis has already been completed. We can check the building analysis model. I am going to design the slab in the third floor so I filter out the rest. Again, the contours are on. This time, we are not working on the foundation. For the foundation, I checked the results for maximum envelope and top rebars in X direction. But this time, I will check the effects in Y direction. Now let's show these contours on the plan view. Here we have our contours showing the effects in the Y direction. Now we can move on with the slab strips. I've already explained this process. The only difference is that now I select the Y direction for the strips. I select the initial point, hold the control key, and select the end point of the strip. Again, I adjust its width so that it contains the patch regions.
I delete the defined reinforcement and update the steel bars. I have the base reinforcement. To insert the patch panels, I select the columns while holding the control key. I select the slab patch panel command. Now I delete and update the steel bars. The additional reinforcement is defined in the patch regions. Well, I have explained how to define patch regions and design the additional reinforcement. Now, let's continue with the reports. I go to the Design tab and Slab Analysis and Design. I click on the Design Report button. You can see that the report has been generated automatically, and it shows the design details of the reinforcements for each slab strip. On this report, we have the dimensions of the patch panels, the required and provided steel area in each section, and the details of the provided reinforcement. This report can be exported in PDF format or as a Word document. In this video, we have covered slab design with slab patch panels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to explore all the industry-leading capabilities of ProtoStructure Suite.